Hello, everyone, and happy Friday evening to you all. We're taking a live look at Harvey right now, where we're seeing mostly clear skies and quite a few people uptown in Harvey this evening. Our satellite and radar right now showing mostly clear skies once again for most of our state. Uh, there's that cold front that pushed through earlier today, uh, leaving some gusty conditions for some areas. We did see a few light, light showers in northwestern North Dakota, but once again, things are starting to calm down and disperse for us throughout the night tonight temperatures are cooling off as well anywhere from the mid to upper 40s into the lower 60s so it's 48 right now in Plentywood 53 for Minot and right now in Mobridge it's 61 and winds are still mainly out of the northwest anywhere from about 5 to maybe even 15 miles per hour so uh, we do have lighter winds as we roll into the night tonight winds in northeastern North Dakota still gusting up to around 30 to 35 miles an hour. However, areas back to the central and western portions of the state looking at winds gusting up to around 15, maybe 20 miles an hour. But once again, they are going to continuously calm down throughout the night tonight and mainly push off in eastern North Dakota into the day tomorrow. That's where we're mainly looking at a breeze at this weekend. If we take a look going into Sunday, a few of us could see a little bit of a breeze in the early morning hours. However, once again, that breeze will mainly uh, re remain in eastern North Dakota. So we do have a bit of a break in that breeze this weekend. Lows tonight will be dropping down into the mid to upper 30s into the upper 40s in some areas as well. So a low around 38 tonight in Minot, 40 for Bismarck and tonight in Mobridge a low around 45 so it's not going to feel super chilly out there tonight however if we take a look at our 10 day temp trends here we do see a downward trend in those temperatures dropping down into the 30s by Friday and Saturday and Sunday in the low 20s so I will tell you more about that coming up on KX News.